like i don't want to try because in my head i'm like i'm afraid i'm going to push the baby out in the toilet let me tell you this guys i was probably in in intense pain for like two hours before i push This is Jessica with the Parchment Fam. Welcome, welcome. Um, if it's your first time, welcome back. I'm driving, guys. Welcome back. If... Yes, welcome if it's your first time. Welcome back for our regular subscribers and viewers. So I've been wanting to talk to you guys a long, long time. It's been a while. I've been wanting to, you know, just touch bases, talk about some stuff. But, you know, it's hard now that we have a newborn. She's not a newborn anymore, but you know, now that we have a younger one, it's, it's kind of hard. So now I'm by myself, I'm on the road. I can't talk to you guys. Yes, and I have a few more videos that I'm going to be talking about some some personal stuff. If you guys are interested in that, it might have to do with like our birth control story and stuff like that. You know, the struggles that we go through. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn your post notification on. All right. So today I'm gonna to be talking about basically my my birth my birth like some of it I did a birthing vlog but a lot of stuff was not covered like for example um, I had to be manually dilated I'm gonna be talking about that I'm gonna be talking about like for those of you who follow along you know I did a video where I was trying exercises I think I was like 39 weeks pregnant and I was trying exercises such as the mass circuit and a lot of people that watches that video they ask they want to know if it worked and I did promise an update to let you guys know if it worked or not but obviously I went to 41 plus weeks pregnant so <laughs> I was 39 weeks at the time so did it work so that I'm gonna be talking about all of that and some stuff that happened in this in you know in the labor and delivery of my last baby that really shocked and surprised me and you know it, you guys may find it helpful especially if you're you know you're in your last lap of pregnancy all right so let's begin so i did the 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 miles circuit because i was like 39 40 weeks pregnant i don't remember and i wanted I thought for some reason this is my fourth baby I you know I had that expectation that I was going to go into labor early I just felt like I was gonna go into labor early that did not happen so the first thing I encouragement I'll give anyone that's you know at 39 40 weeks or even 41 weeks if you have an expectation that your body is gonna send you into labor early don't have any expectation your body is gonna do what it's gonna do when it's ready unless you have some medical emergency that requires you to go and get medically induced let your body do its thing and that's what eventually happened you know if your body's not ready no matter what you do no matter what on this earth you do baby's not gonna come unless you medically induce right there's a lot of methods that they they have naturally to induce labor but if your body is not prepared and ready then you know just chill <laughs> I know it's hard it's hard to um to do because I was like that I was very impatient uncomfortable and I just wanted it over with I know that I'm on the other side of it all I guess I can say to be patient <laughs> when we are going through it no but anyways from i did the mile circuit i think i was like 39 weeks pregnant and nothing happened right nothing happened i can say that though it really helped labor when i was in labor i believe everything that i did leading up to my labor and delivery helped labor let me tell you this guys i was probably in in intense pain for like two hours before i push no that's a like that's a big blessing guys i've delivered this is my third time delivering delivered um unmedicated and i can tell you that this is the the best um birth experience for me it's a positive one i was not in labor long at all like 
like I said, I think it was about two hours and I'm going to go into a little bit more details. So yeah, I would say that it did not work to say like put me in labor like the next day or like at the next week. No, but I believe it helped my cervix because for for like three weeks, my cervix was fully effaced. Like, like it was thinned out, it was ripe, but it was not dilating. Guys, I was one to two centimeters dilated even when my water broke even when my water broke at 41 weeks and one day i believe it was yes 41 week and one day my water broke and i still <laughs> i still did not i was still at one to two centimeters but my cervix was thin it was um it was thinned it was what's the other term <laughs> it was ripe and it was ready but it was not dilating right no so my water broke at uh, call it midnight and um it broke on what well, i was i was uh my due date was the 26th of oh my god june the 20 yeah the 26th of june was yeah was my due date and my water broke on <laughs> june the third no yeah yeah my water broke june 30th my water broke june 30th almost midnight it was like 11 50 something i went to the bathroom and i was just there i was even joking with my husband like i had the next day i had an appointment with no the front i did yeah the next day i had an appointment <laughs> at my birth center and uh, and i had an appointment the friday at the special the, 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 the perinatologist to um to, to check the baby because i was 41 plus weeks due so I, was, I had my appointment and yeah so i was like telling him oh gosh i really didn't want to have to go there but you know yeah but anyways i went to the bathroom and i was just there and i was peeing and i was like it's not ending <laughs> i thought i stopped and i was trying to hold it and it stopped for a while but then i sit there and it started again so i was like i wonder if my water broke so i went back inside and i said to my husband you know something strange happened in the bathroom i, th I think my water broke so yeah lo and behold <laughs> my water broke by the way if you want to see you know the entire vlog of my, my my labor and delivery you know go and check that out i'm gonna have it linked in the description and maybe at the end of this video yes but anyways my water broke because i i was laying on the bed and like every time I make any form of strain or cough or anything like that, I feel water start coming down. So I'm like, I told my husband, yes, my water broke. So he needs to get my, and I, and I was having a home birth, guys. So I told him to get my kit, my home birth kit that had the the blue thing that, that lines your bed. I don't, I don't know what they're called, but yeah, it's going to line your bed. I told him to get my kit because I want one of them to lay on. And I put it there and... I was there the entire time I was like no I started feeling it coming down more so I'm like yeah it's definitely my water broke so I'm like might as well I take my underwear off so I took it off called the birth center and they're like um are you having any contraction I wasn't really having any contractions like I was just having my regular contractions that I was having since I was you know when you start having those Braxton eggs but then you know by the time I was like 38 weeks pregnant they started to pick up and when I did like the exercise and stuff like that you know they started to pick up and they started to be a little bit more painful but yes I, I left out something sorry about that I got my membrane sweep at 41 40 40 weeks I was 40 plus weeks I don't remember 40 and how much 40 plus weeks I got my membrane sweep guys and for me I think that did it it's the second time I got my membrane sw swept and it worked with my second child with my second child, I had my membrane sweep and I went into labor. I Two days later, I had my mucus plug out and then I had the baby like two days after I had my mucus plug out. All right, so four days after having my membrane sweep. I had my membrane sweep two days before my water broke, guys. And the only reason why I didn't have it earlier at 40 weeks was because my cervix was so high. So they couldn't do it. And at 40, 40 plus, I was almost 40 41 weeks i had it swept so it was like 40 plus 
four. Yeah, 40 plus four or 40 plus five. Yeah, 40 plus five, I had it swept. And I was having um, the bloody show that it, I had it. I was just having that all the time. I didn't lose my mucus plug this time, but I was just, I was having a bloody show. I had my contractions start becoming crampy. And it, they, you know, they gave me a lot of stuff that I needed to do now to like get labor going. Like they wanted me to do nipple stimulation. They gave me some you know some herbs to start get stuff going they it even gave me the stuff to do an enema so um i didn't do any of that because i was like i said i was having contractions that were a little bit more in my back now so i'm like yeah maybe something is happening so when my water broke i was like yeah maybe i'm dilating as well because you know you have to be dilated for your water to break but anyways they you know, I call the birth center. Once your water break, they're gonna come regardless. The baby's gonna have to come. So, you know, my midwife says she'll be there soon. I should try to get some rest, rest up. Uh, she wants. She she asked me about my contractions. Like, they, I really wasn't having any painful contractions. They weren't regular. Nothing was happening. So when she got there, she's like, okay, she's gonna test me. When she tests me, I was still. She was like, you're still the same as when I saw you and did the membrane sweep the last time so but she was like yeah but your cervix is very soft and and she's like I think I could I think I'm able to stretch your cervix to around six centimeters guys can you imagine that that is what shocked me from one to two centimeters dilated just and that's just regular you know when you're pregnant and you reach the last part that's like yeah nothing but she was able to stretch me from that to six centimeters. No, like I said, I've delivered a couple, I've delivered twice before and to get to six centimeters, like you're in some serious pain. Like I remember being in some serious pain with the others just to get to four centimeters, much less um, six, right? By the time I was four centimeters going on to going into active labor, six centimeters, oh my God it was so painful and now you're she's telling me that she could that she could she could dilate me to six centimeters i was over the moon so she dilated me to six centimeters and and i was you know i was i still wasn't having a regular contraction like the contractions weren't painful and so now she's like no we're gonna have to be you know do stuff to get it going right so that's when I did she had me do some some um, steer climbing that really got the contractions picking up then she let me do nipple stimulation while I was on the toilet facing to the the um the tank and that like I said that really got it picked up picked up also so she got there I think she I think my midwife got there like around after five because I probably got like 45 minutes worth of sleep and I got up and I couldn't go back to sleep she got there like after five she was able to take a nap before she came there and yeah so she came there after five and my daughter was born I think 8 13 so and when she came there like i said i wasn't in any pain like that um, she dilated me to six centimeters we did the stair climbing for like an hour not even an hour maybe 45 minutes then i did the the nipple stimulation for an hour just to um get the contractions going then we go and do some curb walking and when i was doing the curb walking guys that was the tr that was the transition labor from active to you know just the transition labor and that's where the contractions really picked up so um i did some curb walking she called the birth assistant because she's like any any you know it's it's almost time because they were monitoring the baby and the baby was getting lower and lower when you're delivering at a birth center or, or you're not home from my experience they don't test you a lot so they she didn't do any tests but based on the contractions that i was having or close to her she knew that it was almost time you know so I was doing the curb walking and and then um I was doing the curb walking and then I go back up and she's like go back on the toilet and do some more nipple stimulation you know just to she's like you know get it going and this time I'm like I want to use I feel like I want to use the bathroom I don't want to do anything more like I was like I want to know I'm like I want to push it was never time <laughs> it was like she's like no you know go and do that so when she came up 
I I told her that I you know she was downstairs with the the um the birthing assistant trying to get her you know, situated parked and all that. She came up and was like, I feel like I need to use the bathroom. She's like, Oh yeah, you could go ahead and try if you need to use it. I was like, I want to try because in my head I'm like I'm afraid I'm gonna push the baby out in the toilet. <laughs> but anyways, um, she's like, Do you want me to check you and see? So then she she come and she checked me and she's like I was like nine and a half centimeters dilated and she's like yeah but um you know it's very stretchy so I can push like even though I'm nine and a half it's very stretchy so if I want so if I want to push I could push so you know she, eventually I went into my I went into you know my position to push and you know with a couple pushes you know baby was out and everything happened so I say all that to say you know I didn't have I didn't know what to expect with this bird experience but at the same time it was better than i expected it was better than i expected like i said i wasn't in pain for a very long time and and i believe that the mile circuit you know i was like i would i didn't have a birthing ball but my my daughter's my toddler's bed is very bouncy so so i would be there and i would be bouncing on the bed I would be bouncing and um just be bouncing i would do some squats and i believe that all of that really helped my prepare my cervix so that she was able to manually dilate me and i think that the the membrane sweep that really pushed it so i mean if anyone you know wanted to try a membrane sweep and they've never done it it worked for me twice you know that really pushed me over the edge the, you know the first time it sent me into labor and this time it broke my water <laughs> so yeah that that is my experience and that's to answer the question did the miles the mouse circuit work um you know it depends on what you consider work i believe it prepared my cervix for labor made me had a uh, easier uh, faster labor so i would say you know it doesn't hurt to do it do it as often as you can i did in when i was in labor with my my third child they did do some they did have me do some uh, circuit by lying on my side and that also sped up my labor so fast because with her as well by the time i got to the birth center she was born within like an hour from me getting there and i think when i got there i was like six centimeters dilated so these exercises they work and the stair climbing like if you're trying to find natural st stuff to do you know do the mouse circuit the stair climbing you know i never i've never made, made a video about the um the stair climbing and i didn't get it on video when i was doing my vlog i wasn't able to get it but there's a lot of video out there so go and look out to do the stair climbing where you walk to the side go down and come up back and sometimes you would miss a step that really helped the curb walking helps so you know go and research those videos that talks about those things and try those and if your your doctor will give you a membrane sweep go for it right go for it so i think i covered everything <laughs> i think that's about it you know it was a positive birth experience my kids were there we it, it, we we it was a it was just a positive experience you know so i was in pain for long guys and i was so excited about that so um that's a mouthful thank you so much for watching watching if you made it this far thank you uh, if you made it this far and you're not subscribed you like what you see go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn your post notification on remember i'm going to be talking about some contraceptives sometime in the future because guys we have four kids and it's been a struggle with, with contraceptives and i know a lot of people that has is have issues like that so yeah, if you want to hear about our story go ahead and um yeah hit that subscribe button and like this video share it with someone you think might you know they're in their last lap to get they want some encouragement to go through labor like you don't have to you don't have to get an epidural guys in the hospital like i don't know about that when i was in the hospital i was moving around with my first with my first pregnancy i did opted for an, an epidural i feel like if i should do it this time again i wouldn't know because i'm more prepared and i think i'm going to be doing another video where I, I talk about tips to just get through labor how i got through my labor you know with my three um labors that i did naturally you know mentally some it's a lot of it is mental so yeah thank you so much for watching again and i'll see you guys in our next video bye